Kill okay gang. Okay, Flock is an artist you either just became aware of or have been following his musical journey from the beginning. But if you don't know who he is by now, don't worry, you're early. When you think of New York Drill, you think of Brooklyn. But Kid Flack is proof that Bronx has skin in the game too. Kid Flack has become one of the fastest rising artists in New York drill scene this year. His vision of drill music is raw, free spirited, and polluted by real life events. His rapid growth mirrors that of Pop Smoke's early career in 2019, RIP. The 18 year old upcoming artist has only been rapping just under two years and has cultivated a rapid fan base, a call one at that, who refers to him as Lord Flacco. Lennon features with Lil TJ, Fabio Foreign, and Chicago legend G Herbo. Despite his success in the music scene, it seems as if there's a dark cloud that follows everyone around him, losing a handful of friends within the span of six months, which some have reported as gang retaliation killings. Despite the chaos that surrounds him, he continued to elevate and now has the potential to take the music scene by storm. It's just a matter of time. Before anybody calls him an industry plant in the near future, let's take a closer look at our Lord K. Flock. My name is CJ from YouTube and this is the scary story of K. Flock. In many ways, K. Flack's rise is similar to other New York drill artists, climbing from humble beginnings to the verge of mainstream. K. Flack, born Kevin Paris on the 28th of April 2003, is of Dominican descent hailing from the Bronx. He grew up in a rugged environment he described as dangerous. The Bronx, and mostly New York, has become a mecca of drill music, heavily influenced by gang culture and violence, a city so dangerous 16 people were shot in the span of 90 minutes and the bullets have no name or preference. So far this year, at least 21 teenagers have died from gun violence. As a teenager, he escaped in the Brooklyn drill as well as the music of Chicago rappers like King Von. He tried baseball and basketball for a bit, but those fizzled out after school for obvious reasons. And everything came back to music. The Bronx rapper has spent the last year and a half making tracks that bring some of the movement's strongest future stars together. Everybody spit with the pedal press all the way to the floor. His music or videos are raw and got millions of views easily within a week. But Kid Flag wasn't really the rapping type. Uh, I'm not, I wasn't really the rapper, I was really the rapper right here. <laughs> By the age of 12, he was already in the streets dropping fours. But it was his right hand man, Dougie B, who had inspiration of becoming a rapper. Dougie B and K Flack grew up together. They went through their ups and downs together. And when Dougie B's father died from a seizure right in front of him at 15 years old, K Flack was right there for him. And their chemistry shines through any tracks they release. Brotherly Love is a prime example. The chemistry between Dougie B and K Flack is obvious, feeding off others' complimentary vocals as they trade bars at times even making it hard to distinguish between the two. As you all know, the New York drill scene is saturated with a new drill rapper coming out every week with the same repetitive bars, dances, dropping gang case signs and smoking on somebody, which eventually get lost in the YouTube algorithm. k Flack's first official release was FTO, which I presume means Free the O's, which is a well-known gang he affiliates himself with, but if you ask him, he's really EBK. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Ironically, his first official release was over Tutuji's hit song, Blicky Freestyle. His graspy voice and Bronx accent caught the listeners at hello, and the song had all the chaotic elements he needed for any drill fan to rekindle their relationship with the genre. At first, he wasn't taking music seriously. Playing. And from there, then I started playing for me. Started going up. Obviously, I could take it far for me, open the doors for me. Like, you know, but when he did, the more raw and aggressive he became. With no filter, flacking at every op with his words, alleged dissing his own cousin D Ting. D Ting, who is another bubbling rapper from the Bronx, who closely aligns himself with the YGs or RPT, a well known op to K Flack's self side or 700 DOA. 
a beef that is inherited by the kids who reside in these neighborhoods. Keeping up with Brooklyn tradition, the Bronx gang culture is as confusing. It's a puzzle within itself. Friends become enemies and enemies become friends. As mentioned earlier, the dark clouds of K-Flag covers everyone around him. So far this year, he's lost about two to three of his closest associates, fallen victim to the cycle of gang violence, which are often fueled by the music and constant up dissing. And in June 2021, one of his associates, Jaren J. Rip Elliott, R.I.P., was shot and killed on East 187th Street near Prospect Avenue on Belmont around 3.15 p.m. on a Sunday. He was murdered in revenge for the gang-related killing of 19-year-old Tyquel Dock. He was reported to be a member of the Young Gunners. J. Rip was believed to have been on the scene at the time, although not the triggerman. And not to be outdone, within 8 hours, affiliate of the 800 YGs or Young Gunners Ra Ra RRP was fatally shot and killed in mobster like fashion. According to sources, Ra Ra was at the scene when J Rip was shot. In modern day gangster like fashion, K Flag took to social media to celebrate the death of Ra Ra. This in him and his best friend Nasty, another young gunner's affiliate, releasing essentially a diss track titled Is You Ready? The song quickly accumulated 4 million views within a month and two weeks later, releasing another track titled Being Honest, dedicated lyrics to J Rip, his fallen friend. But for the sake of giving credit, the song is inspired by Siggy Black, Dishonest, which is an artist he listened to quite a bit. With the help of his label Capital Records, the video accumulated 300k views within 24 hours, trending at number 27 on YouTube. He's also seen wearing the 1090 music chain, not sure if he's signed with them but considering the fact that he's receiving a G Hubber feature, some have considered that he has. Despite his success in the music scene, he continues to take L's in the fields. And on the 30th of September 2021, another affiliate was shot and killed three steps away from his friend J. Rip Slayin. It was reported he was not the intended target. He's known to be in k Flag circle, so who knows who they were really after. The beef between YG's and self is a futile one, and it's highly unlikely it will ever end, as blood has been shed on both sides. k Flag is known for being reckless, making threats on social media, and with the way his music career is elevating, he must be careful before the hip-hop police come after him. To conclude, k Flag has great potential and can use the life story and future experiences to switch up the context of his music. One will that appeal to the higher masses, but I know he has potential to take his music to the next level. And when he does, people will wonder who is k Flag and where did he come from. I hope from watching this they will learn. My name is CJ from Sh YouTube and this is the scary story of k Flag. If you made it this far into the video and you like what you saw, please feel free to give us a like. My name is CJ once again and I'm out. Meow. Shh.